What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar. I have something really unique, something that I've always wanted to do. Now today I'm with my friend Aiden and we are at a haunted location. Actually we're in front of two haunted locations. Now recently my friend Aiden was sitting at a restaurant here in Manitou Springs and I don't know how the conversation got brought up about paranormal experiences and somebody came up to his table and told him about this haunted arcade here that we are at. Now, when we did a little bit of research, we couldn't find much on the arcade. However, right across the street is a bed and breakfast called the Cliff House. And there is all sorts of reported hauntings, mainly on the third floor. If you go to the Cliff House website, guests have reported their paranormal experiences here. And one of one that caught my eye was many, many, many reports of shadow figures, people having their beds shaken at night, showers turning on on their own, lights turning on on their own, people getting grabbed in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's right across the street from the haunted arcade. Now the story that Aiden heard about the arcade being haunted is the arcades will randomly turn on, make noises on their own. Sometimes they'll make noises and not even be on. People have even reported seeing children playing in the arcade that are ghosts. I'm not sure what we're gonna find tonight, but I'm excited. Let's do this. thing I forgot to mention is the name of the town that we're in it's called Manitou Springs and what people don't know about Manitou Springs the whole entire town is haunted now, this town was founded by witches they weren't bad witches though Wiccan. Wiccan there is the cliff house right there let me know here in the comments if you want us to stay there one night on the third floor Manitou Springs closes down what the heck I, I thought that was like, I thought there was a real car or something. <laughs> what the heck? I can hardly see anything. My light is bad. Here, let me turn the light on. Bam. There it is. So that car was making noise just a second ago. None of its lights are on at all, dude. These lights are on. Yeah. These are a lot of really old arcades, too. Mm -hmm. You know, look, we got X Men, Street Fighter versus Street Fighter. You know, I'm I wonder if they have one of the old Mortal Kombat's. Here's a Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 3. Tetris? I've never seen a Tetris arcade. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Bro, how cool would this be like to have something like this in your house? Oh, that'd like, be really cool. All these old school. There it goes again. Yeah. It's that same car? Yeah. I wish we had a quarter. We didn't find a change. Me too. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Oh, change. change machine. Look at that. I wish they had something like this back where I live. That's an old fashioned arcade. I was saying how uh, Emma Crawford, she, uh, she was buried at the top. She died of tuberculosis. And she was buried at the top of Manitou Springs. And then one day during a, uh, a flood, there was a flood that came through, like a huge rainstorm. And it washed her grave up to the surface <laughs> and washed it down Manitou and all the way through Manitou Springs. It was one of the haunted stories. Is that uh, the, the coffin that was like floating down? You were telling me something about that. Yeah, it was a coffin that was floating down. It came down the, uh, the main street and so now they have like uh, coffin races. Every Halloween, they have coffin races. Coffin races? Yeah. In her honor? Yeah, they make little go-karts. Oh, wow. Out of coffins in her honor. And they do coffin races down the street of Manitou, which is right up there. That's the main strip, right up there. Now, Manitou Springs, I've heard so many stories about it being haunted. I mean, there's so, it's like the whole entire town is haunted. Dude, these things are making noises, man. Yeah, they are. It's crazy. Oh, gosh. For those of you who love clowns, or hate them. All right, you're gonna see my camera shaking a little bit, cause I'm cold. I'm really, really cold. How do you live here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna come here during the day, bro, and actually like play on some of these arcades. Yeah, dude. It'd be so much fun. 
there's so many. Oh, bro, there's so much cool stuff to see here. Now, this used to be a nickel arcade back in the day. Mm-hmm. And they probably have some of the same arcades from back then. These are these are probably them. These were arcades back. They didn't have video games. It, this was like arcade. Oh, see, right there. A oh, penny arcade. Okay. I was off. What the? You think we're like too big for that? <laughs> I don't know, man. You want to you try? Let's see. Kids tend to under, no adults. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're too big for it. Um, What about a quarter? Want to put a quarter in it? Yeah. Let's see if it, let's see if it works. You want to put a quarter in it? Sure. You put the quarter in it. Let's see. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man. Where do you put the quarter? Okay. Is, is 60 pound limit. These are supposed to be off. Additional coins. Additional coins? Coins. You click beater? On. What? Mm. Okay. It's a 50 cent ride. I think this is a 50 cent ride. Yeah. Another quarter. This means I'm a paying customer, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these are supposed to be all off. Yeah. Why why is this on? We should make a wish. Bro, what was that? It sounded like a glass breaking or something. Yeah. It might have just been a machine game. Make a wish first. My girlfriend lives in Virginia. I go see her every other week. talking about my girlfriend living living in Virginia but anyways I go visit her every other week and it's it's really sad because like the times that I'm back home with my kids it's like get my kids every other week it's like I'm like no matter what I'm I'm sad because like when I go visit her like I can't see my kids even though me and my ex have a pretty good relationship and she gets the kids one week I get the kids one week but you know I want my kids to be able to like anytime they want they could just come see me because even when it's my week like if they want to go with their mom for like a day or so like you know I'm totally cool with that I'd say my wish is to be able to be with them like my whole family like every day you know what I'm saying? Like, be able to have Tiffany in my life, her kids in my life, and then have my children. I just don't know how that's possible because we live 12 hours away from each other. Machines. Yeah, it's really cool. This is so cool. Yo, if you're ever in Manitou Springs area, I mean, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure about the haunted thing. We're just going by what somebody told us. I haven't seen a, an arcade turn on by itself, but I mean, we have heard them turning on and. Laughing at us? I don't think that's what that's an arcade, <laughs> though. I mean, I don't think it was either. To be honest, I don't think it was either. I mean, it is right across the street from a confirmed haunted location. You could look it up on Google. What's the name of that place again? Cliff House. The Cliff House. Haunted Cliff House, Manitou Springs, Colorado. Check it out. It's legit. I'm going to be staying there one night. Oh, dude. You have to sit in that. 50 cents. He's about to get his brain sucked. 60 pound limit. Oh, 60-pound limit, my butt. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want you to break it. Oh, it says no adults. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. All right, sorry. Oh, what is this? Basketball? 10 cents. Look at this. 
This is an old arcade. Okay, this is we're we're going back in time here, bro. Mm -hmm. Ten cent single player, twenty cent two players by Sega. Really? Yeah, dude. This is before Genesis and all that. I didn't know Sega made like arcades. Oh yeah, yeah. Dang. Because they started making um, the Sega games. Dope. Oh, look at that. Sonic Fighter Pro. You know that's an old arcade right there. <laughs> Looks like you're in a cockpit. Huh? Yeah. Oh, look at the, the Flintstones car. Man, this place is so cool. Maybe this is what your friend was talking about, or the guy at the restaurant that some of these arcades turn on by themselves. Oh, bro, they're... Dude, I just seen a, an arcade blink inside. Are you serious? I'm serious. You dead serious. Yeah, look. Dude, one of those was on right now. It like turned on. Dude, you should not be on your phone in there. You know what that means? Isn't that considered poltergeist? Like, aren't poltergeists, they, they latch on to electronics? Yeah, spirits latch on to electronics. Poltergeist would be the evil ones. Bro, you are such a savage. <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna break it. Look at this though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a car meant for me. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Go ahead, put 50 cents in there. What now? Then I'll break it. Then you'll really break it. Yeah, you'll break the motor. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm trying to see if. What was that? What was that? It sounded like coins. Like coins or a chain or something? No, I, that was 100% coins. It sounded like... What was that? Is that even weird? I don't know. The change machine right there. Do you want to go see if there's a change in there? What was that? Dude, I don't know. Okay. We thought we were alone. We heard change. And then we heard like a somebody going. There's nobody over. <gasps> I know that there's no arcade machine that makes the sound that we just heard right now. No. I know that for a fact. Okay, we heard change drop into there. Let's go see if there's change in there. No, there's no change in there. It sounded like change hitting the ground or something. And then we heard somebody over here and there's nobody here. I wonder if the owners would let us do like a legit paranormal investigation. Like bring, the yeah, like bring spirit boxes and maybe during the day, maybe tomorrow or something, I might come out here. It might be in a vlog or something. This has been here a really long time too. It could have been, I mean, let me tell you something. Something about arcade owners, okay? We all know the story, like Tron, you know what I mean? Like always stay, uh, Mr. Flynn was always attached to his arcade business okay if i owned an arcade like it's something that you're passionate about whoever owns these arcades they love arcades okay so if there was a previous arcade owner or arcade store or shop owner chances are like they're still attached to this i mean that's that's just me especially you know because i love video games i mean wouldn't you be yeah, like attached yeah it would make sense because you put your whole life into it yeah. Yeah, you would still be attached to these games. One hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it was a previous owner, because this has been here since when? Like. Nineteen o three. Nineteen o three. There's been an arcade here since nineteen o three. I'm gonna go ahead and start concluding this video. This was definitely something different. I mean, it wasn't like a, a real creepy place. It's something that, as I was walking through, it reminded me of my childhood of playing video games and being at arcades. I mean, there needs to be more places like this, but if you're ever in Manitou Springs, you want to check this place out. It's pretty awesome. Come by and show them some love. Shout out to them for, this must be like a really nice town, just leaving their arcades outside like this. Yeah. 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 There's not a lot of criminal stuff that happens. Yeah. I mean, if you do plan on visiting it, 
and you're you're wanting to do some harm, they got cameras everywhere. I mean, pretty sure they're watching this vlog right now. But I mean, we're not doing anything. I mean, this camera's right there, right by the ATM. I mean, this camera's everywhere. Yeah, like don't be messing with the arcades here. Doing anything shady. <gasps> It's Woody Woodpecker again. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Make sure to check out my boy Aiden. A link will be down below in the description. If you're not following me on social media, you are missing out. I know a lot of you don't know when I say go down to the description. And I mean, that's where my PO box is. If you wanna buy merch, I have a merch link there. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here is what it looks like on my iPhone and it looks like on my Mac. If you have a PC, it'll look pretty similar to that. I gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.